Jan-Jaap Kannegieter. Uh, I'm vice president of Siska BV, a consultancy firm in the Netherlands of 200 employees. The problem with test conferences is that we talk too much about testing. There are so many other fields of knowledge, uh, skills, competences we need to have to be successful in our projects. So uh, in test conference we only talk about testing. The video talk will actually be about um, how, we, how we assure quality within uh, the process quality within a Scrum project. And uh, I'll give a very short uh, introduction to Scrum. One of the main things about Scrum is uh, the, that you work in a multidisciplinary team with developers, with designers, with testers, with users in one team and you have a shared responsibility. With each other, you have to reach a goal. And in the old days, and I'm aware that quite a lot of organizations are still in the old days. Uh, in the old days, we were in our test team, in our, in our own team, and we could say, oh, this is not good. And, oh, yeah, well, if it's uh, shipped later, it's not my problem. The quality is not good. Now we have to make sure the, po the, the product will ship on time. That's a shared responsibility, and that, that's, that's really something else. So we have to make sure the project is successful, and that's also our responsibility. And that's why uh, assuring the quality within the Scrum project is also a matter for testers. And uh, what I see in practice is um, that there is a certain misunderstanding, common misunderstanding, you see in a lot of Scrum projects. Uh, the first is uh, some organizations think that um, uh, you don't make requirements up front. This is not true. Uh, these organizations think you make the requirements within the, 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 uh, um, uh, within the uh, iteration. Um, at the start of the iteration, the team will start with clear requirements. So there's another team who actually makes the requirements. And for instance, the um, uh, product owner is one of the people who is making these requirements. So yes, there are still requirements in a Scrum project. The second is that most organizations think if you start to do Scrum, you don't know what you get at the end. This is also not true. Um, because the product owner has contact with everybody else in the, in the, the business, uh, he knows what the business needs and he can steer the uh, the product, the system, in the direction you, uh, um, uh, what's needed. So at the end, you will get what you need. Up front, you don't know what you need, but at the end, you will get what you need. The third misunderstanding about Scrum is that quality is uh, unpredictable. Uh, if you use Scrum right, quality is definitely very predictable. Uh, within the Scrum methods, you have the definition of done, uh, which defines the quality criteria every product has to meet. So uh, if you have a good definition of done and you've got a tester within your Scrum team who makes sure that, that the criteria are met, quality is getting quite high, higher than in a traditional project is my own experience. The fourth uh, myth on, uh, misunderstanding is that Scrum teams don't need management. Um, they do need management, but a different kind of management. Scrum teams make decisions themselves. They, they're free to, to build the product the way they think they should. So they don't need a manager telling them, do this, do that, do it this way, do it that way. They need a management who gives them the right facilities, who gives them the room to, to use their, their uh, professionality. Um, and this manager should make sure no one disturbs them. This manager should make sure that the requirements they're working on are stable. This manager should make sure they have the right rooms, they have the right uh, test uh, um, uh, environments, they have the right build environments, etc., etc. So it's more a facilitator who is making uh, the, the people uh, work well. Sometimes I hear organizations say that in Scrum there are more meetings. Well, to make one thing clear, there are three meetings within Scrum. That's the planning meeting, the daily stand-up and the retrospective. I've seen rarely a project with so less meetings. And, uh, but some organizations, they keep their old meetings, the meetings they had before, in place and do these meetings on top. Yeah, then you get more meetings. Skip the other ones. Nothing will happen, only quality will increase if you skip the other ones. Uh, the last one, yeah, a bit about testing, but some organizations say, we do Scrum, we don't need testers. And in a sense, they could be right. There is a sense of truth in it. 
you need the knowledge a tester has within your team. You need someone who knows about test environments, who knows about test techniques, who knows how to test. It doesn't have to be a tester. It could be a developer who also has a passion for testing. But you need the knowledge of testing within your team. And, uh, uh, but in my experience, what I see in practice is that a tester really has a contribution in a Scrum team to make sure that the quality in the end is okay. <clears throat> so the bottom line of this, this is Scrum is not a problem. The method Scrum is okay, but some people leave essential uh, uh, features of Scrum out of their process. They don't make requirements, they don't manage the, the quality, they don't have test knowledge within their team. So it's not the method that's the problem, the way the method is used by some people is the problem.